we're going to be working on some big rigs this week. We're going to be putting on a camera to eliminate blind spots. You don't want to idle, so we're going to show you how to put an APU, an auxiliary power unit, on a big tractor. Plus, we're going to show you some tricks with arrow on a trailer. So, all that and more on Motorhead Garage. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, Sam and I are working on a problem the big rig drivers face all the time, and that is blind spots. But we've got a product that will solve that problem. It's from Valvac, and what it is is called the AeroCam. This is definitely a blind spot eliminator. You've got a nice pod mounted at the optimal height. You've got a camera on the end of it, 65 degree sweep, and of course, that's all transmitted into two monitors, a left one and a right one, that are on all the time the truck is running. And I'll tell you what, one of the things that really happens, people are driving along the road, they'll run right along the side of the truck in the blind spot. Right. That's where accidents cause. This can save you from that. I'm going to go put this in, speaking of this. Okay, and if you find Jeff back there, send him out, will you? I will. Anyway, the kit is real simple to put on. It comes complete with instructions, and I believe this is a dealer-installed item. Right, hey, Jeff? Dave. How you doing? Good. Good to see you. And, folks, I want you to meet Jeff Porter with Valvac. Jeff? What caused you to want to make something like this? What was the reason for that? Well, almost a third of all truck-to-car accidents happen in what's called the no zones around mm -hmm. the vehicle. So the AeroCam was designed to help eliminate those blind spot accidents that, that uh, occur and cause many injuries and fatalities. I can see where that could be a real help. Now, what all does this fit? I know we got a Volvo here, but do you make this for all the makes? Right. We, we have uh, kits, special kits for Volvos, Peterbilts, and Kenworths. So it's a factory approved dealer installed option. Okay, now this doesn't replace the rear view mirrors in general, does it? It does not, but it will replace the blind spot mirrors that are hood mounted mm -hmm. oftentimes. Okay, easy installation. How much does something like this cost? Uh, you know, roughly at the dealer, twelve to fifteen hundred dollars for a system. They're configured differently. So. I'll tell you what, that's not a bad price, especially when you can spend a lot more money for doodads and goo guys on there. You know, <laughs> this will keep you safe. Well, this is easy installation. We're going to show you how to do it now. Great. All right, for the installation inside, just follow the instructions. This Volvo is very luxurious. Got a lot of stuff. Got a cup holder. A couple of screws hold this cup holder in. I'll remove the screws, they take a T20 Torx. Once the screws are out, I'll pop off this panel and we'll be able to access the fuses. Let's see how Dave's doing down there. Okay, now the kit comes complete with a template so you know where to locate this here on the hood. And this is designed for the Volvo hood. What I've done is I've taped it up here so it won't move. Got the spots here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my center punch and I'm gonna punch it in each one of these little holes right in the center, like so. Once I do that, I can go ahead and drill out each one of these holes, and then I'll be about ready to go ahead and mount my unit. These instructions are great from Velvac. Now, once we access this panel, you can see all the relays and the fuses, very accessible, important for truck maintenance. We run our wires up, we got a connector. It plugs right into the fuse panel right there. There is nothing to it. So you just line this up. Got to get right by this little piece of plastic here. We'll pop this in. Now my power is hooked up, and Davey can continue on his end. Okay, now the next step is going to take our camera, and we're going to head and mount it. Now you can see right. right here, this comes with a gasket, right? And you just peel Correct. that off, Jeff? That's exactly right. All right, so we'll peel that off like so. Can I hold that there? Yeah, just give me. There we go. We'll peel that off. And now we can slide this in. Put our cable in here. See how this is going to work? Oh, this is going to be fine. And we can go ahead and mount that right up there. Piece of cake. Like so. All right, now i got to raise the hood to get the nuts behind here. Right. Meantime, while we do that, see what Sam's doing. Okay. We'll pop this little access panel out, too. So here's our monitor. And here's the stand that it's on. And of course, these are really nice. You want to get it close to the driver so he can really see and take full advantage of this aero cam. Now I'm going to get up here, I'm going to place it up here, this looks like a good spot. I'll mark the four holes, then I'll go ahead and drill them, 
and I'll get this all done before Davey gets done making a career mounting that pod. All right, well now I got all the nuts tight. The next thing is, got to run the cable, run that up to Sam. All right, now, Davey finally passed me that cable through. It's an S-Video cable, just plugs together, there's nothing to it. Take it out on the road here to show you. We've got the two monitors lit up. You can see beautiful visibility. Again, that's 65 degrees. And the angle of these cameras is just right. And of course, they're gonna move around a little bit when you're idling with the hood shaking or going down the road. But if you look, the image on the monitors is very stable. It's really perfect. It's good color monitors, eliminates all your blind spots. And here's a couple other advantages. If you've got big mirrors hanging all over the place, they're big wind, you know, they break up the wind, hurt your fuel economy. These have been wind tunnel tested. They actually pay you back in gas savings. And the other thing is you can take this whole system from Bellback and you can hook it to a recorder. Now, if you have a wreck, if somebody drives in the side of you, you got a videotape, you can show the DOT or the judge in the traffic court say, this fool drove into the side of me. It's a great way to protect yourself if you're an owner operator. We're having fun, get the air conditioner on, riding down the road here in this big smooth truck. We're gonna take a short break, got a lot more to come, don't go away. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, Jeff and I are here in this big old Peterbilt, but we got a little different camera system on this one. This one worked with the nav system, doesn't it? That's correct. Both Kenworth and Peterbilt offer a factory navigation system option that has up to four camera inputs in it. So our AeroCam system plugs right into that factory navigation system and displays that camera view right, on, right in the dash. Now, I see we got the cameras are mounted up front on this particular vehicle. That's correct. So what happens when you have it like on automatic, then when you turn on your turn signals, it'll automatically switch to the That's right correct. camera or left camera. That's right, the, the, the camera inputs are switched when the turn signal uh, goes on, depending on which side is well, turned. Well, let's give it a try. Let's turn to the right and see what happens. Oh, there you out. switched right over. Yeah. And if we switch to the left, Oh, it switched right over on that too. So that's a pretty neat deal. You can't hardly beat that. Yeah, I, th I think uh, no matter what's displayed on the screen at that time, it'll interrupt and it'll show you the view that you need to to be safe. Well, Jeff, I really appreciate you guys and your crew stopping by and Our showing point. what this is all about. You know, this is gonna save a lot of truck drivers a lot of grief. Now stay tuned for the industry update.